Hello, I am Amarina. I am part of the fashion team here at Fat Girl Food Squad in Toronto. Uh, I'm in my little studio here, and I'm, today we're going to do a DIY on how to hem anything. So we can do shorts, a, a skirt, pants, whatever you like. It's summer, make it short, show off those chubby, beautiful legs of yours. Or not chubby, still beautiful. So uh, I am a plus size fashion designer and I have a line here and I sew a lot. So uh, let's get started on our first DIY project. So the first thing you have to do is take either a chalk pencil or a piece of sidewalk chalk or a pin, whatever you like, and mark off on your pants while you're wearing them um, where you'd like them, how much leg you'd like to show. So I'm going to put this here. You only need to do one leg, just one mark, and you're good. So another way of measuring the length, if you don't feel like putting your skirt on or your pants on, or if you have like, say, a super dope pair of 90s floral shorts that you would like your new shorts to be the same length of, um, you can line up the crotch point right here where the inside seam of the leg meets the crotch. Here. Make sure it's all straight. And you can add a pin there and it will be exactly the same length as the shorts you already love and wear all the time. I would like to take a moment to introduce my assistant, Ima, who likes to get cat fur on literally everything that I make. All right, next we're gonna fold this bad boy inside out so all of the markings that we make on it won't show through to the other side. All right, so we've got your, your marked line where the pin is on the inside. I'm just gonna take it out so I don't stab myself. And you want your cut when you hem it to be straight across, not super crazy. So what I'm gonna do, I mean really, you can just hack it and eyeball it and it'll probably be fine, but we're gonna do it properly. So take your ruler and you want it to be, your line to be parallel with the original hem, which should be straight. So I just line it up with the original hem, make sure it's kind of straight, make a mark here, and then do it on the outside. I'm not super fussy when I'm doing my DIYs for my own stuff. And then you can go ahead And take uh, the sharpest scissors that you have and just hack across. You can put more lines on if you feel comfortable, but this part's actually going to get cut off eventually or hidden, so it doesn't have to be super neat. Next, fold your pants in half along your butt, butt seam and line up the crotch, the crotch point like this. Make sure your waist and your side seams all match up. Again, it doesn't have to be super duper perfect at this point. Definitely easier with something like jeans to line it up, but this is what I had today, so. 
And you just kind of line it up and cut across. That just makes it a bit easier to work with and you're working with a relatively straight line so you don't have to worry about evening it up later. These actually look way better now. Okay, so we've got our marks here and what we need to do is we need to draw a straight line that is parallel with our cut line and we're going to measure off of that so we can kind of just finicky here. Yeah, so just take your ruler, measure it up so it looks a bit straight. And then we're going to draw our line. Across. And so what we're going to do next is establish our seam allowance. So that's what where we're going to cut and then how much we're going to fold up to create our nice hem. So for these, we're going to give a half inch seam allowance, but we're going to fold it up twice so it looks nice and clean. We don't have this kind of crappy line. So we're going to measure one inch below where we'd like our hem to go and then we're going to fold it up a half an inch and then another one and we'll do that in a sec. So you can measure, line up your ruler and measure a half inch down. And then you move it down again. So there should be an inch between your original line and where you're drawing and go down another half inch and make another. Make another line there. So this is where we're going to cut and then we're going to fold it here and then fold it up again so you get your nice clean line. So take your sharpest scissors, sharpest, most dangerous scissors, and you want to cut along your bottom line carefully. If you're doing a lot of projects at home, I like to have um, a separate pair of scissors just for cutting fabric because when you start cutting paper and other things it immediately dulls them so these are strictly my fabric scissors Some people like to do either a zigzag stitch or serge around the edge to make it look nice and clean, but I don't, you're folding it in twice, no one's going to see it, so I just leave it. Ema's working very hard on this DIY project as well. Thank you, Ema. Thank you. Okay, so I've double checked that my legs line up, they're exactly the same length-ish. And I've got my everything marked. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to fold on this line, the halfway line, and press it up so it's nice and clean. Um, you can use an ironing board if you don't have space for one, or you don't feel like pulling it out. You can use a towel folded over. Make sure your iron is set to the proper setting. And then what I like to do so everything is nice and clean is you can put a, fold a towel Put it inside the leg here, fold it up, make sure you're folding towards the uh, wrong side of the pants, so this is the outside that I'm exposing. And 
then just press. Okay, so we've done the pressing and our shorts are inside out and now we're going to move to our trusty sewing machine. The most important part when you're sewing is not to make sure it's straight when you're sewing lined up with this edge, but that this area here is straight. So when you actually sew your shorts, the seam is even aligned with the hem and not aligned with the inside because no one's going to see that anyway. So I like to start sewing on the inside leg seam because you're going to do like a little back tack here to lock your stitch and uh, you don't want it showing on the front. So when I'm sewing I'm keeping an eye on this side to make sure that it's lined up. And do your back stitch. And then you just want to pull it, not super tight, but tight, tight enough that it just stays where it should be. And just make sure your stitch lines up with your first one. And then you back tack, and you're good. Trim your excess thread, and then give this a final press. Just nice, solid press all the way around. And then you're good to go. I'm going to put these on for you. Eva and I would like to thank you for uh, watching this DIY video. I hope you liked it. I hope it helped. You can apply all of the stuff that I did to a dress, to a skirt, to pants, just to hem a pant, pair of pants shorter, whatever you need. If you have any questions or comments or if you liked it, uh, leave us a comment and uh, I'll do my best to help you out. Bye! <laughs>